Hey, welcome back. Today we are going to show you the correct method on using a tubing cutter to cut brake lines. All right. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to take uh, a regular ordinary tubing cutter. All right. So I'm going to slide this over the line, just kind of tighten this down ever so slightly. And then every time it comes around, I'm just going to tighten it just a little bit. Okay. Um, otherwise, if you get kind of uh, ahead of yourself or get too aggressive with this, what you're actually going to do is you're going to take the end of the line that should look like this and you're going to kind of tweak the outside and then it doesn't want to fit into the uh, flaring tools like it's supposed to. So every time it comes around, I just kind of give it a little bit of a tighten. And again, just take your time, a little bit of extra time on this uh, to do a good job to make the outside nice and square. All right. So again, as it comes around, I just give it a little bit of a tighten each time. All right. And when we're all done, you can see this is nice and square. The line's not actually all pinched in. Okay. Then once you get done with that, you need to ream the uh, inside of the brake line. So I just have a standard reaming tool right here. Uh, so we're going to take this and just kind of ream this out. Okay, and we want to make sure that this is ready for the uh, forming die uh, for whatever flaring tool that we are going to use. Okay, so let me do one kind of quick just to show you uh, the difference. All right, so I'm going to kind of clamp down on this pretty tight. Okay, and every time it comes around, I'm going to squeeze down on that pretty tight. Okay. And that cut the line pretty fast, but you can see the difference there. Um, the one that I did really fast is almost kind of closed off the inside of the line. All right, so again, that's how we use just a standard tubing cutter. Uh, there's several different flavors or versions of, of the tubing cutter that you can get. This is one that's a little bit smaller. Obviously, you could use this on a little bit tighter spaces. All right. Hey, thanks for watching. Uh, check out our other videos, and we'll see you next time.